Hey guys, Final Master Link. Gonna be doing a sort of a short IRL stream. I mean, I don't think this is gonna, this is gonna go on too long here. Hell, I think like three other people are streaming right now. Let me check. Oh, another message on LinkedIn. Hopefully, it's for a job. Okay, that's kind of strange. So. The job I applied to, the company says, looking for assistant print designer. I thought I applied to that job. That must have been something else. Whatever. I'll look at that later. Let me see. Who, who's online on Twitch right now? Okay, only Dragon's online. Playing Crash Bandicoot. I thought he, I thought he played that years ago. Huh. Oh, whatever. Um, I might as well check Indeed here real quick. Any updates? Uh... Another job at at that one point at that one plant. Okay, whatever. Let's get rid of that right now. Okay, definitely want to have some uh, music playing. So let me just type in. Uh, I'm trying to remember the radio station that I used. Is it this one? Yeah, RPG Gamers. That sounds right. Castlevania. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, you guys. I don't know, I think you guys can hear it a little bit. But then again, I'd like it to be a known channel here. Yeah, okay, that's what that probably is. I wish this damn mic picked up my voice better, but like it, it doesn't even show me the yellow, so what the hell's up with that? I guess I can't. I, I guess I can't turn up the sensitivity anymore. Whatever. Is whatever. Uh, maybe wait till a couple people show up. You know, now they look about it. Maybe I should go shave real quick. Yeah, let's. I'm gonna go do that real quick. I'll be back.
still like to wait for a couple more people to show up. And according to this, they were on the first in the chat. And I think I have an idea who it is. Okay, this is Chris, Crystal Chronicles, that goes in, I think it was in time. That's somewhat related to, that's somewhat related to a game I'm going to be showing off here soon. I'm taking my socks off too after the club. Hey, I, I don't remember if I had this light ring on last time, but this thing is fucking awesome. Like, check this shit out. It's got, like, like, sort of a mix between three different settings. It's got kind of like a neutral, and it has a dark, and it has, like, a light, a level one, and cool color. It's pretty sweet, and I think it has the sensitivity to the brightness, rather. For the most part, I kind of prefer to have it on there. So it makes me look more white than I really am, but, you know, it is what it is. I got a Guinness with me here. Well, I guess as a sort of a precursor, maybe I should show off my actual consoles. You know, aside from just the, you know, games on the bed. Well, I only have one N64 console, so I guess I'll just show that off real quick. I probably should have cleaned some of this shit up, but I mean these consoles are so freaking old. So yeah, it's my N64 console. It does have the expansion slot. It actually came with it. Um, I think you only need like three fucking games to even play the shit, or to like utilize the expansion pack. So it's not really that big a deal when you don't have it. But it just. Uh, well, I've heard that it enhances um, certain games on the N64, too. Like, I think it helps some load times or some shit. But, yeah, here's the console. Um, I, I just got a couple of the regular controllers. It's not really worth me trying to get out and show you guys. Uh, I'm trying to think where I even put the controller. Because I haven't played N64 in a while. There's the N64 actual console. I guess I'll show you my uh, a couple of game cubes that I have out outside. So, I'm not quite sure which one is my original GameCube, but, uh... I don't know, this 
might be my, well, I don't think it is, but this is one of my GameCube, it's just a black one, you know. Yeah, technically I have three GameCubes, but only two work. And that is because my original one, uh, the, they call it the, like the laser that, you know, reads the discs, that went bad. I thought I could fix it by opening it up, and I did fix it for a bit. But I, I think, uh, you know, two or three months later, it just kind of broke, so, yeah. I still have it somewhere, I think it's in a closet or something like that. But I believe this I bought at a pawn shop somewhere. My shit is quiet, Funky? You mean my music or my voice? That is not good. I mean, I guess the easiest thing would be... Really? All of this is quiet? Is that any better? Or wait. You don't want my face to blow up like that. Wait, I'm glad you're here, Funky. I figured you'd at least check this out. Because I... Have I ever done a GameCube collection? I think, I think I did like four or five years ago, and it, it definitely expanded since then, so... I figured I'd do another one. Fuck it. Plus, I like collection videos, and I thought I might as well make it a stream of something different, you know? Uh, let me see if I can adjust, maybe... That is not... Mic settings... Well, I, I definitely know I can raise the... too loud. I kind of figured as much. Okay, obviously I want to allow access. I think I want to actually go to here. Open sound settings. Yeah, I know I could be a little louder. Manage sound devices. I don't want to disable that. What the fuck? Test my mic. I mean, I'm already tasting test my mic. Here, let, let's try to do this. Um, okay, did, did that do anything at all? Or did that just raise the, the volume of my actual voice? Like, I don't think it became more sensitive to mic. I don't know how this... Th this worked so well last time, but... I did nothing? Son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. Sounds OBS. properties. Okay. Does it, does that, I, I think I saw the bar went up a bit more. Does that help, Funky? Like, I think on OBS, I think I'm in the, like, the yellow range now. Hmm. Much better? Okay. I should probably just keep that on. So what the hell music is playing right now? Brandish? I've actually heard of that game before. I think that was on the uh, Super Nintendo. Uh, which... I, I do have a fair amount of Super Nintendo games, but uh, I, I figured I'd send... I, I'd save Nintendo stuff, like old school, for another stream. I think N64 and GameCube's fine for this. Like, I don't... I don't plan on this being more than like an hour and 40 minutes, so... But yeah, I don't know what everyone else is doing tonight, but at least Funky's here to witness my, uh, 
It's probably not as good as his GameCube collection, but I, I, I think it's commendable, you know. But let's take one more swig of Guinness here. Let's get this shit started. I'm gonna do the N64 first, just because there's not as much. And my N64 isn't nearly as good as my GameCube. Partially because I didn't grow up on the N64, so... But, uh... Oh... Uh, me. Well, first and foremost, um... So, I... I only have one N64, I never grew up on it. I, I played a couple friends when I was younger, um, like at their houses, but I, I never, I, I never, I, hell, I haven't had one since basically I was still in college, so it, it's still sort of a new console for me to actually, you know, be, you know, in the ecosystem for. But when I bought it, it came with this, like, kind of a cool drawer, like this plastic drawer. I guess it's official, because I've seen stuff like this on eBay, eBay before, but you just, you know, you put your games in and it slides in and out, you know? Pretty, pretty convenient. So that's kind of cool. Like, I know they made a bigger version of that shelf there. Uh, yeah, I guess just gonna get the loose stuff out here first. Like I said, I'll, I'll run through these kind of, kind of pretty quick. And probably appropriate, I played the most recent one I did, Zelda Ocarina of Time. It's a, it's a pretty good game. I think it's actually objectively the best Zelda game, honestly. Even though my favorite's Twilight Princess, it's uh, it's still quite a dandy. Um, yeah, not, not too much to say about it. Like, I think my only legitimate complaint is, like, I don't think there's really that much to do on the... Um, on Hyrule Field compared to other other games in the series. Like, I think they could have worked a little bit better on the Hyrule Field aspect of the game. You know? Also, it's really bugging me how my nose is, like, going over there. I swear, like, like I should just have someone just, like, break my nose and, you know, readjust it. I mean, I'm sure you could do that because this is basically just cartilage. It's just, it's always annoyed me when I've been on camera how my, no my nose just, you know, like, fucking juts the other direction like that. But... Yeah. Zelda Ocarina of Time. Still fast game. Go play it in any form, in any way whatsoever. So next is Banjo-Kazooie. And I did get Banjo-Tooie recently, but I do not know where it is. But I, I know I bought it. Because uh, I, I remember seeing it when I first moved into this place. So I, I know it exists somewhere. It's probably in, a, it's probably in some, you know, case... You know, full of shit, some bin somewhere else in this house. But yeah, the first Banjo Kazooie, it's it's pretty fun. I remember seeing like an actual let's play of this before I actually played it, so I was still somewhat, I guess, ruined by the experience. Uh, I remember watching um, NCS's let's play of this back in the day, back in like oh 2008, something like that, 2009. Um, but it's a pretty good game. Definitely recommend it. And I look forward to playing the second one too. When I get when I get to it. So next is Perfect Dark. Um, I've had this game for many. Well, I've had this game for at least like three or so years, three or four years. Uh, I think just because it was like super cheap. Like I, I think I paid like maybe eight eight dollars for this game. Definitely less than like eleven dollars. Uh, even though I'm not really a fan of first person shooters, it's actually quite decent. Um, I mean I struggled a bit when I was doing my my stream about it, but it's. Uh, it's still, it's still commendable of a game, so I liked it. Uh, this one I'll probably never play because I have no interest in this kind of shit. Uh, this is NBA Hang Time. I think this first came with my bundle when I first bought it. It's a basketball game. I don't, I, I, I don't know fuck all about it. Uh, for all I know, maybe it's an underrated basketball game, but I probably won't care to, you know even pop it in to play it when I'm bored or drunk or both. So there's hang time. Now I'm just gonna kinda pull shit out of the drawer here real quick. Cause like I said I, I do not have very many N64 games. 
Uh, this one I'm pretty sure I have played. We got Wave Race 64 here. It's, uh, I mean, it's a racing game. I, I remember playing this a bit in the arcade, I think, back in the day. Uh, I'm pretty sure they had this in the arcade. But yeah, Wave Race, it's a, uh, you know, it's a water water racing game. Kawasaki Jet Ski, yeah, that's, 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 what, you, that's what you write on it. It's, uh, it's decent. I think I played it just once, like, actually, you know, on the cartridge. But I know I played it at least two or three times back in the day in arcades, you know. So yeah, there's that. Uh, this I've actually heard is pretty fun, and I, I think it's kind of one of the one of the, I don't know one of the heavy hitters of the system. I got Bomberman '64. Um, it's a Bomberman game. I, I think I've heard this is one of the funner ones that were ever that was ever released. Um, like I, I think they made a Bomberman game on the N64. That was pretty good too. I. Or on the on the SNES, that was pretty good. I, I don't I don't know. I've never played it. But yeah, Bomberman '64. I've heard it's a pretty fun multiplayer game. Probably check it out at some point. Because I do have I think three controllers for N64. One's like a kind of a third party, but I know I have at least two that are official. So yeah, and definitely probably the one of the best. Well, not one of the best. The best racer on the N64. We got Mario Kart. We got Mario Kart 64, I just burped there, sorry. Um, this game's pretty good. Uh, in my opinion, it still doesn't hold a candle to, like, Double Dash, but, you know, it's Double Dash, you know, it was like, you know, five years after this game came out, so... Maybe not the best comparison, but... Yeah, Mario Kart 64 is pretty dope. It's pretty dope. Apparently this bundle, the the guy really liked racing games um, because there's a lot of racing games here. Uh, next we have Cruising USA. I might have to lower the brightness of that so you can actually see the game cartridge here. That's a little better. But yeah, Cruising USA. I, I know for sure that this was an arcade game at some point in time. Uh, I don't know if I have necessarily played it. I know I've played Daytona USA. Uh, which I, I think is like similar style to this, but yeah, Cruising USA, it's it's a, it's another racing game, probably a decent one. I never played it with a bunch of people though. Okay, so next, I think I got this fairly recently too, like the last two years. I got uh, Rugrats in Paris, the movie. I've actually played this a little bit. It's uh, it's okay. I mean, I like the Rugrats. And, it, you know, it's actually a black cartridge, which isn't really... It's not really seen too much on the N64. The only other black call it, black cartridge I can think of is, uh... I think it's Killer Instinct. I think that's a black cartridge. But, yeah. Rugrats. What can I say? Uh, should I put, save that for now? Yeah. I mean, you pretty much have to have this game for the N64. I've got Super Mario 64... It's a pretty good game. It's a pretty good game. Um, I definitely enjoy it. Uh, uh, do I enjoy it compared to other ones? I think I might enjoy this just a little bit more than Sunshine. Like I, like I agree with people saying that Sunshine is a little bit weird, but. But like, I never once thought that Sunshine was like a bad Mario game, you know. But, like, if I had a choice between that and this, I'd probably choose this, but only by a little bit. We have Mario 64. Can't really say much more about it. It's awesome. No, 20... Uh, let's see, 20, 25 years later? Goddamn, that's an old-ass game now, isn't it? Uh, this, this one probably is for you, Funky. Hell, you probably played this back in the day. Uh, we got... WCW versus NWO uh, World Tour. I don't know fuck all about wrestling, but I'm sure an old school wrestling fan might find it amusing. But yeah, I never played it. Maybe I will someday when I'm like really, really drunk, but I just, I, I don't care for wrestling games at all. Never gave a fuck about them. Um, never gave a fuck about wrestling in general anyway, like on the TV. Didn't care about that, but yeah, wrestling. 
Now, this is one. Of the, this is another one I, I haven't played either, but maybe it's maybe it's supposed to be fun. I've got uh, Mortal Kombat trilogy. Uh, like here's the thing. Like if I wanted to play Mortal Kombat, I don't think I would be playing it on an N64. You know what I mean? Like that maybe seems a little bit too. A little bit too awkward, like with the. Uh, I'm just trying to think. How the fuck do you perform any moves with the uh, with that analog stick and it? You know, like being all fucking weird with the layout of the buttons. I I don't I don't feel like that that would work out too well. That's probably why I've never played the game myself. But yeah, Mortal Kombat trilogy. I assume it has one, two, and three on it. I I would guess. But yeah. I probably. Eh probably the shittiest game on there just if you knew me i've got i've got madden football 64 uh yeah <laughs> can't really say much about this uh fuck madden fuck games like madden that come out every single year without changing anything and charging full price um yeah fuck madden hello uh, i'm trying to think did was it was this to the point where they actually made a Madden every single year? Because I think when um when Madden first came out, I don't think they made one every single year. I think they 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 skipped a couple years between releases. I I don't know. Don't quote me on that. That's Madden, and it can basically can fuck right off. Uh, okay, so next we got kind of a good one, Donkey Kong 64. I believe this is why I have the expansion. The uh, expansion pack in the N64 to begin with, uh, because you need that to play this game. And I, I guess part of me maybe thought, well, maybe this guy had Majora's Mask at some point too, but no, I'm pretty sure it's only because of Donkey Kong 64. So I've actually barely played any of this game to be honest. Like this might be a potential stream at some point. I don't know. The, the thing is, like, you want to collect a font, you want to collect a thon game. Like this is like. The fucking king of collectathons. If you just want to get every single item you could possibly think of in a game, like this is kind of your game for that. Because I think you go through like, like you use like five different characters in the game, and like you can only get certain objects when you're a certain character. So if you really want to truly 100% complete this, you got to play through all those characters and get all that bullshit. And I don't think I'm up for that. But maybe just a casual. Maybe just a casual going through the game, you know, just just going through the story or whatever, get the bare minimum of what you need to beat it. Maybe I'll be up for that one day. I don't know. We'll see. We only got two more, believe it or not, people. Uh, I guess I'll save that for, for the end. All right, we got... Uh... We got Turok, Dinosaur Hunter. I think this actually came out on the PS1, too. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, I've never played it. I assume it's like a first-person shooter game, kind of like, um... Uh, the fuck you call it? Uh, the... the uh, Perfect Dark. I was about to call it Parasite E, but that's not a first-person shooter. Uh, yeah, Turok, I, I assume it's sort of similar to, like, I don't know, like a Tomb Raider slash uh, Duke Nukem kind of game. I don't know. But yeah, Turok, I haven't played it. Maybe I'll check it out one day, who knows. And then the last one, probably another one I won't really check out because I haven't seen the movies yet. We have uh, Star Wars Shadow of the Empire. Shadows of the Empire, my bad. Um, I, I don't even know what, like, movie this takes place in, in the Star Wars universe, but, yeah, it's, it's a Star Wars game. I've heard they made, like, I think it was, like, three or four games that they've made for the, for the N64 for Star Wars. Um, uh, I think one is Rogue Squadron, I think one is, like, a pod racer or some shit like that. It's, like, some kind of, some kind of racing game, like a kart racer. But, yeah, Star Wars. And that's that's basically it, with the exception of um, of Banjo Tooie, which I don't know where that is at the moment actually, but I do have it. I did buy it. Um, so yeah, that's all my N64 stuff. So yeah, any any questions, complaints? I, I I was honestly thinking because of how crazy retro games have gotten. I've honestly thought about just buying like a. Uh, 
like a multi-card or whatever, or a, or what do you call it, a, um, the fuck you call it, uh, the, the, the cartridge that lets you, like, put in, like, a, like, an SD card and read it off that, a flash card, that's what I meant to say, flash card, I've actually thought about getting that for the N64, just saying fuck it, you know, but, it is what it is. Um, oh, the only other thing, I don't know where it is right now, but I, almost it's in the... Yeah, I actually don't know where it is. I actually have an action replay for the N64, too. It came with it. It's it's kind of neat. The only problem is because it's one of the earlier action replays, um, the cheats don't work with all the games. Like, I know it works with um, Mario Kart 64, Super Mario 64. Uh, I think Donkey Kong 64 it works for that, too. And maybe a couple others, but like I tried to use it for Ocarina of Time, and it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't let me do it because uh, it, it, it was like one like version off from the one that actually supported Ocarina of Time. So I was like, oh, that fucking sucks. Oh well, it is what it is. So yeah, that's uh, that's basically it for that's basically it for the N64 stuff. Um, get on to the good shit now, which is. Definitely gonna take a lot longer because I have maybe, hmm, maybe a little over 40 GameCube games, something like that. So let's get started. these in kind of a particular order. I actually have a bit more heavy hitters than I thought I did. I think I showed you my other GameCube here. This is my, I guess my my main GameCube. It's what I use to play everything nowadays. Uh, this is the Platinum one. Now I know for sure that I bought this like at a pawn shop some years ago. Um, as you can see, got a got a couple memory cards. You always got to have memory cards for GameCube. You know how it is. I I believe this one specifically. I think I bought this on uh, eBay. So yeah, and also my what. What you might expect, uh, or what you might notice, is uh, I have the the Game Boy Player. Which little story about that? Like, um, so the that store in Fort Wayne that I go to semi often, Mega Replay, they actually had these like for years and years ago. Yes, Miss Mayhap says it is a, it is a it is a Game Square. How you doing tonight? Um, what the hell was I saying? Oh yeah, so the the Mega Replay place, it constantly had these, supposedly. Um, I'd never seen it on the shelf, but some years ago they said they sold them for like 30 or so dollars. Um, and like, I came back there regularly because I wanted one, you know what I mean? There's some shit on there, I don't know what it was. Um, so yeah, I, I went back probably over the course of about two months trying to get my hands on one of these. Because at the time, these were going for at least $50 or so. Um, and then one time when I went to the store, they finally had one in stock, but the guy told me, I guess they upped the price because hell, they, they, they probably heard me bitching about, you know, how much it is online and they decided to readjust the price because they're assholes like that. Um, and so, uh, this one, I think I paid about $45 for, and I, I basically just kind of bit the bullet and I was like, all right, fine, I'll buy it. Hindsight... 
is 2020. Like, I, I, I bought this in the startup disc, which is uh, somewhere. It's somewhere. It's in a, it's in like a little binder somewhere, so I know it's safe. But yeah, I got both of these for about 45. Now, these sons of bitches are going for like $140 plus. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. So, in hindsight, it was a good idea to just bite the bullet and get it then. But I, I'm kind of curious, how much are they right now? You're doing good, Ms. Mayhaps. You're just being an epic programmer. Oh, hell yeah to that. Yeah, let me just look up real quick. But yeah, I'm almost positive they were over $100. Hell, I, I don't even know if, uh... I don't even know if Funky has, has one of these bad boys. Okay, uh, Game Boy Player with Startup Disc. Loose, of course. Okay, it says, as of now, it's about $140. Like, holy shit. Apparently, um, it peaked about April for 177 I mean, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Well, hell, even before this whole COVID shit, um, it looks like they were trailing around 80, 80 or so dollars, something like that. So, again, hindsight, it was probably best that I did that. So, yeah. But yeah, that's the actual GameCube there. Let's get to the actual games here, shall we? Uh, I got kind of a childhood one here. I actually thought about rebuying this just because it, it was never a bad game when I was playing it as a kid, but it wasn't the best game either. That's uh, Nicktoons Unite, the video game. I think they actually made like a sequel of this or two with different like Nicktoons. But I mean, this is kind of a cool idea. You know, basically you had a... Uh, you know, Jimmy Neutron, Danny Phantom, Spongebob, and Timmy Turner, you know, basically fighting a brawler, pretty much. You know, it's completely four-player co-op, too, which is, is, is good fun if you actually have four people. Um, yeah, it is complete. But unfortunately, the uh, disc doesn't actually work, because, like, so, so some years ago when I was trying to fix, uh, like, my original Black GameCube here, when I was, uh messing with the uh, laser or whatever. Like, there's actually a way for you to, like, increase the laser strength so much, because there's, like, a little kind of, like, power dial in it. It's kind of hard to describe. But basically, you can make the laser so damn strong on this thing that it'll, like, burn the disc. So it actually literally just burn this. I'm glad I didn't have an expensive game when I did it, but, yeah, this, this actual game disc is basically fried because of that little experiment. Glad I didn't use a Zelda game on it, that's for damn sure. But, yeah... That's why I got, uh, that's why I got toasted. I think it's actually noticeable on the damn disc. Let me look at it real quick. Uh, yeah, I think I can kind of see it on the, on the very innermost ring of the disc. But then again, this thing, this thing is, like, it looks like I, I was using a saw blade to it. Like, I, I used to take really shit care of my games. So, the fact that it worked for so long until that point is kind of amazing. But yeah, Nicktoonsy Night, it's an alright game. If you like, if you like Nickelodeon, old school Nickelodeon. Put that there. Uh, Donkey Kong 2, actually, I, I'm pretty sure, yeah, th this is just the case. Okay, never mind. Well, if I ever get the game disc, I can have this, as well as the, what are the, the, the DK bongos, although I think those are kind of expensive now, so who knows if I'll actually buy them, you know? As whatever. Oh, this one I'm somewhat curious about buying here. You don't have a GameCube? You think you was you think you were too young for that one? I mean, maybe. Like I I I want to say I had a GameCube when I was about 11 years old, something like that. Like, I want to say I got one by. 2003 or so, so I would have been 10 then. About that, about that time. But yeah, I fucking love my GameCube. Um, so anyway, I was just wondering if this was complete. I got Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, which is actually on GameCube, as well as I'm pretty sure it's on PS1 as well. Uh, which, ironically, I think there's actually a. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone on GameCube, which is actually kind of worth a lot. 
I, I mean, it must have been a damn late release into the console. But just the fact that it exists on a GameCube, you know, when the movie came out in, like, what, 90, 99 or some shit, you know? Um, but yeah, it is complete. I don't actually remember where I got this. It was not McMahon's video games, though, that's for sure. Because, uh, they, they've, been out of, they, they've been out of business for years. They used to be in Fort Wayne. Um, but yeah, it's complete. I assume the game works. I don't think I've ever played it. Yeah, it'd probably work, just some very light scratches on it. Your older brother doesn't play games, so you didn't have any older consoles around the house. Oh, that's that's kind of lame. Well, I take it since you're so uh, fascinated with Pokemon, I assumed you had a Game Boy, or, or at the least a DS, you know? Like, I know you're a bit younger than me. Uh, is this? Yeah, this is complete. So, strange story about this game, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I actually had this on the PS2. Um, and it took me many years to actually complete the game. Because, like, towards the end, there was, like, this thing with the Dementors. Kind of like a mini game that I was just... I was having a shit time at, honestly. But, um... What ended up happening, the PS2 copy of this, I still technically have. But the actual disc is... It, it's, it's so jaded up and fucked up that I, I can't even play it anymore really so i think i found this at a game store and i was like hey i can beat it on the gamecube then it's it's not a big deal but yeah prisoner of azkaban also kind of one of my favorite harry potter movies too it is complete as you can see so yeah i'm honestly trying to remember where exactly i got this like, I'm pretty sure I got it at Mega Replay. Okay, uh... This looks like a yard sale, just because it looks kind of weird. And I don't see, like, a sticker mark on here. We got, a uh, Pac-Man vs. Pac-World 2. Or, Pac-Man World 2, rather. Um, I've heard this is actually kind of decent. Like, it, it's sort of like a, I guess, a dual game or some shit. Like, I don't know exactly what Pac-Man Versus is. I don't know if that's, like, a, like a party game or what. But Pac-Man World 2, like, that's, like, actually a... What do you want to call it? Like, like a, a 3D, you know, platformer game. Like, it's kind of it's kind of different. And apparently, there's two to four players that can play simultaneously. I might have to test that out. Huh. Yeah. Here's the back showing kind of the two different games. I don't think these. I don't think this is worth anything in particular. But at least you get two actual games. So there's that. But yeah, there's that game. God damn, it's already been 45 minutes. I remember seeing a commercial for Pokemon Emerald on TV and just thinking it was the coolest thing ever. I mean, I definitely think it's pretty cool. Uh, Crystal's the shit. Uh, so anyway, I actually have two copies of, the, of this, which I'm trying to remember why I do, but uh, maybe Mara would would like this fact, but I got Resident Evil Zero here. Um, yeah, Resident Evil Zero. I, I think the reason I have two copies actually is because, um, like, I think this was a, I, I, I think I mistook this for another Resident Evil game in the series. Um, and I think at the time there was no port of Resident Evil Zero to any of, like, the more modern consoles. Because I, I know I did not have, like, a PS4 or even a PS3 at this point when I bought this, so. I don't know. Hell, I'm not even sure uh, who stars in this. I mean, it basically takes place before Resident Evil 1. Like, I, I don't even know who you who you play as here. Switch, okay, you go between Rebecca and Billy. I don't know who the fuck that is, but... Huh. Maybe I'll play it at some point. Maybe next Halloween, I don't know. I don't even know if it's a good game by, you know, the Resident Evil community standards, so... And that tastes fucking weird towards the end. Alright, next game. Uh, we got Army Men, Sarge's War. I'm almost positive I got this at a yard sale. Because it is, like, clean as fuck. Like, there is no, like... Like, you know, sticky, uh... You know, label junk on it or anything. Yeah, I don't really know what to say about this game. I've never played it. Oh, wow, it's it's basically complete though like it even has like stupid uh you know warranty cards and, and whatever but yeah it's a army it's an army man game maybe it's good i assume it's like a 
third person shooter or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, man. Okay, I got another copy of this. I don't know how either. I want to say probably yard sale. This was this one is not as complete, but it has the little like booklet there. But it has both of the discs. So, whatever. I'm not quite sure why I'm not quite sure why I have this, but I have um I got Star Wars the Clone Wars. You you'd think I wouldn't have anything to do with Star Wars gaming wise, but yeah, Star Wars the Clone Wars. Maybe it's decent. Oh, it actually is made by Pandemic Studios. I do like them. They made, um... Uh-oh. I think they made Resistance, and they made, uh... What the fuck you call it? Um, Destroy All Humans, which I quite like that series. I don't know. Maybe it's a good game. Maybe. But I, I can't really say much if it's Star Wars, so... Okay, next, uh, I think this was, I think this was taken straight out of, um, like a rental place, but I got Star Wars Rebel Strike, uh, R Rogue Squadron 3. Yeah, not sure what to say about that. Yeah, this has to be, like, from a... What the fuck? I'm surprised it actually has the manual. If it's from a rental place, why would it have the manual? That's, that's fucking goofy. Wait, there's Star Wars Rebel Strike, the actual disc. Who knows if it's, if it's good or not? I I couldn't tell you. Looking at the K, looking at the disc, it lo it looks like it would probably read, at least with the resurfacing, it would. But yeah, there's there's that game. Apparently, it's an action game, and it uh, I actually tell you the controls on the bag. That's kind of cool. I I have no idea what kind of um, rental play this place this is from, but. Oh, oh, it's actually from Hollywood Video there. Yeah, they used to... They used to be here some years ago. Alright, we got a, we got another Army Men game here. Real-time strategy. It's probably from the same yard sale that I got the other... That I got the other Army Men game, and it was probably cheap enough. I just, I just bought it. I was like, fuck it. Because y you hardly see any GameCube games. Like, in the stores or in the wild, even. So, I think I just bought it just because... Okay, apparently it's a real-time strategy game, so that's that's kind of interesting. Don't know how good it is, but yeah, it exists. Uh, do I want to show some of these heavy hitters? Yeah, why not? Cause honestly, I'd say about a third of my games are probably heavy hitters, considering how apeshit people are going for GameCube games now. Anyways, this is a uh, Wario World. I've actually played this uh, about, I want to say about two years ago. Uh, it's it's pretty decent. I'd say it's probably about as good as the um, Game Boy Advance titles, if if anyone's ever played that, like Wario 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 World Four, I think is on the Game Boy Advance. But yeah, it's a you know it's an action platformer like you would expect. You know, you go around War as Wario and collect coins and shit and you know treasure and you beat things up so yeah it's pretty fun I recommend I recommend people get it if they can afford it because I know that's going up as well as every other GameCube game speaking of which this is uh, it's a little damaged but again this is one of those things where I thought it was kind of expensive at the time but I'm glad I got it when I did I've got uh, Paper Mario the thousand year door um, I remember running this game when I was a kid I've actually never beaten it, so this is probably potential future uh, stream um, to actually beat the game. But at the same time, like, uh, I, 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 the only part that would be like unknown to me is like when you beat the final boss because I haven't beat the final boss. That, that literally made me rage quit the first time because I just I was so far ahead. I I didn't have enough like recovery items and I couldn't beat the final boss. So I was just like, you know what? Fuck this game. I don't I don't care anymore. But yeah, the only thing actually wrong with it is the top here is a little bit torn off. But in hindsight, it's not that big a deal because this goes for like fucking seventy dollars or some shit now. It's 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 ridiculous. Uh, it is complete though. Like I think I bought this for like slightly less just because um, I think at the time this is going for yeah, it has a little booklet in there too apparently. 
kind of funny, actually. It's got like a, you know, like an Einstein character on there or whatever. Um, but yeah, it is complete. I, I think my my thought at the time was I I wanted Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door, um, but I did not want to pay like the topest dollar that I was going for on eBay at the time, which I think it was probably about forty. Like I think I bought this for thirty thirty three something like that because of that because of that problem. But I was just like you know it's just a little tear at the top like like who cares you know what I mean? And if it really upset me, I could get like a you know, reprinted cover of this that looks almost exactly the same as the original. So it's just like, whatever, who cares? But yeah, it's, it's a pretty good game. Like, honestly, now, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should do a stream of that uh, of this. Maybe I'll do it as a redemption at some point, I don't know. Because it is pretty fun. And I... I think it's probably a little better than the original Paper Mario, which I have played that a couple times. But yeah. Okay, next, uh... Yeah, I know I got this at a yard sale. Next we have The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, the uh, the OG version, not the HD version that I was playing, um, you know, a couple weeks ago. Um, I mean, what, what can I say? It, it, it fucking kicks ass. It's not really the way to play Wind Waker now, but... I mean, it's, it's, still, it's still a good game in its own, right? No manual, but it has, like, some other insert shit here. So that's kind of neat. But yeah, one waker. Uh, this is this was kind of a lucky find, honestly, uh, as well as a couple other games I got with it. Uh, but that's that's gonna kind of lead into a little story. So I have uh, the first Pikmin here. You see, there's a bunch of junk on the top. Uh, I, I assure you, I did not spend eighteen dollars for the game, which I'm trying to remember where the hell Games and Gadgets was. Like I can't think of a place where that would be. In Indiana, at least. But yeah, I actually paid, uh, you might not even see it. That's supposed to say $2 there. You cannot ever get this game for $2 again. I'll tell you that right now. Granted, this is at a yard sale, so most people don't fucking know what things are worth. Paper Mar The Thousand Year Door is the best Paper Mario. I, I probably agree with that, Ms. Mayhaps. It's definitely better than, um, Super Paper Mario and probably the first game, too. But, uh, I mean, granted, I haven't ever played Color Splash or, what's the other one? Um, Origami King, because I heard it kind of turned to shit after after the GameCube title, so it's, you know, whatever. But it, it is complete. Looks like it even has some inserts in there, too. That's pretty sweet. Oh, that, oh, look at that. Look at that shit. Talking about Nintendo Power, man. Back when they actually still printed that shit. That is awesome. Yeah, I kind of lucked out when I got this game, honestly. I mean, two dollars, holy shit. Although, although strangely enough, I actually would probably much rather play the um, the Wii version of this with like the the new play control. Uh, I don't know. I, I I'd have to do a once through on on this to really to really come to terms which with, with which version I actually like more. But yeah, Pikmin. It's good. Play it. Okay, uh, I think Funky actually has this one too. Uh, got The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Sort of ironically, I got this before I even watched the movie, so that's probably why I haven't really played it yet. But I think this is supposed to be like an action game or some shit. Because I, I know they made another Lord of the Rings that's kind of like an RPG on the same system. Uh, yeah, I, I think it is an action game. I don't think it's complete. No, it's just a disc. I mean, that's fine, you know. But yeah, Lord of the Rings, I'll probably play it at some point since I've actually seen the films. I, I've seen the loser version of it, the, um, the theatrical version. I have yet to see the director's cut because I'm a fucking failure. Anyway, moving on. I really need to get, like, a proper case for this. And thank God, thank God I did not pay, uh, what it has on the sticker here. This is uh, Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. I, again, th this looks like jack shit. I mean, look look at the quality of that paper. It's just dog shit. Also, I can't believe the GameStop sold this for $60 as new at some point. I, I honestly do not remember what I paid for this. I don't fucking remember. Hopefully it's not much. The game does work, though. I, I, can, I can guarantee that. 
You know, it's covered with shit. Like, I can see, like, there's, like, a movie gallery sticker on it on the front. A fucking ugly disc, but... As long as it functions, you know, I can kind of work around it. Yeah, like, the disc itself, it's it's in pretty decent shape, you know? But yeah, I... Like, I played it for a little bit. Like, I, I like Harvest Moon games in general. I, I just... I don't know. Something about it, I guess it didn't... It didn't grab me like some of the other games did, like Tree of Tranquility or Friends of Mineral Town or... Or... Or the original Harvest Moon, or Back to Nature. It, I don't know. I'd have to give it a, a another another look, probably. Uh, okay, now we. I know I have a duplicate of this somewhere. We got Sonic, uh, Sonic Me Mega Collection. I mean, this is sort of superfluous if you have stuff like you know the actual hardware, like on the Genesis, because according to this, this has a. Uh, Sonic 1, 2, 3, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic 3D Blast, Sonic Spinball, and Dr. Robotnik's Mean, Sh mean Bean Machine. I can, place, I, can, I can basically play all that shit on my computer or the actual fucking you know, console or whatever. I mean, hell, don't I have Sonic 2 just right here? Yeah. Like, I have Sonic 2 literally right in my shelf, so... It's sort of a... It's sort of a thing you, you don't really need, especially with, you know, modern technology and Steam and all that shit, but it's there. I, I guess it's not completed. It's just the, it's just the disc. That's fine. Okay, about an hour. I think we're, we're doing good progress here. Let me get a bit more games here stacked up. Uh, we're going to start to hit some heavy hitters here, actually, believe it or not. You know, it's like I, 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 you know, it's like I said with the GameCube. It seems like everything's a heavy hitter. You know, the price seems to indicate that at least. Okay, here's one I got pretty recently. I'll show you that. I won't, I won't hit you too hard, Funky. Although you might get jealous of a couple of games I have. Then again, you have shit like Path of Radiance and um, uh, Skies of Arcadia. So, you know. But yeah, now we have uh, some Sonic Riders, which I remember Funky giving me shit for buying, but he can go fuck himself. Because, uh, one, it was an actual decent GameCube game I, th I think I could I could have bought. Um, actually, I think I might have the receipt still in here. Yes, I do. I've kind of had a habit of like keeping receipts in here, you know, and shit. But yeah, I guarantee I bought this sometime this year. It is not complete, but it has the disc. Let's see how much did I pay for this. Um, okay, I bought it for $9.99. That's not bad. I don't know how much it's worth. I, I want to say it's maybe in the teens, but like it, it just seemed like a decent racer. And I don't really have any of those for the, N6, uh, for the GameCube, so. Apparently I bought it... When did I buy this? Oh, I actually, I actually bought it the day my dad died. May, uh, February 26th of this year. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why the fuck I was there during that day, but whatever. Oh yeah, Sonic Riders. Right, this is probably gonna be a shitty game, but... I'm trying to think of what I bought this for. Uh, this is, uh, Major League Baseball 2K6. I, I wanna say maybe I bought this at the Salvation Army. Cause I noticed there's like a 97 cent sticker on there. At least I think that's supposed to be 97 cents. I I think this might have been an issue of I literally did not find anything else hunting for the day. So the fact that I saw a GameCube game, I was like, might as well, might as well buy it. You know, might, might as well get something. I think it's complete, isn't it? Yeah, it's complete. Whatever. Game probably sucks. Uh, actually, if I remember right, I think there's actually a. I think there's a Sega game that's actually worth a bit of money on the GameCube that's like a baseball game. I don't remember what it's called, or, or maybe I'm thinking of... I might be thinking of a basketball game, I don't remember. But yeah, there's that game. I think we're... I think we're basically through all the shittiest games, actually, already. 
Uh, although some are, some of these are kind of duplicates, so you might not see everything new. Uh, I got Mario Party 7. Uh, this is not my childhood copy. This is something I got somewhere else. I don't remember where. Uh, but, but yeah, Mario Party 7. Also, I know exactly what song that's from. That's from Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I think that's, uh, when you're... Uh, that's when you're going through the village, right? Let me see. It should say... Yeah, the Hidden Village. That's what that is. You know I'm a nerd when I can name the song and the game that it's from. Yeah, Mario Party 7. Uh, just the disc, basically. I have a better version of this that was from my childhood, so... I'm sure that's coming up at some point. Uh, I'm surprised I got this for, for as much as I did at the time. Um, this is the Legend of Zelda promotions, promotional disc. It's... Uh, it's nice for the most part. The only problem is, um, I guess it is complete. I know these, like, all this together is worth quite a bit now. Hell, I think I only paid, like, $25 for this, which, at the time, that seemed like a steal, but now it's even more of a steal. Uh, but yeah, it is, it is complete, you know, manual and all that. The only kind of thing wrong with this is, at least when I was playing Majora, Majora's Mask, you know, uh, you know that that game right there uh it crashed on me like three times that was that was super fun to deal with on stream you know three or so months ago uh other than that i do like it but but kind of the other thing is like this this disc might not be as cool when you have the actual original hardware and the you know you can just pop it in like i have zelda one i have zelda one two ocarina of time i don't actually own majora's mask you know, N64 cart, but I own pretty much all the other old ones, you know, Link to the Past, uh, Oracle of Seasons, I don't own Ages, uh, and I don't own, uh, Link's Awakening either, but, you know, whatever. But yeah, promotional disc for Zelda. Pretty cool to have as a Zelda, as a Zelda guy. Um, I thought there was a price tag on this, but, uh, we got Mario Superstar Baseball now, um, I literally just bought this on a, on a whim. Like, there was this store in my town that I think sold... Like, half of it was, like... Half of it was, like, selling, like, gardening stuff. You know, like, uh... You know, like, saplings and, you know, seeds and shit like that. And, like, the other half just sold, like, kind of random... Random shit. And this was in that pile. I was like, oh, I mean, it is a Mario game, technically, so I might as well buy it. I don't think I... Okay, I don't have a... I don't, I don't have a manual or, like, a receipt for it or anything. I want to say it was, like, five bucks, though, which, looking back, was was a good deal. So, I'm glad I bought it. And I actually did play this in, in February. It's actually a decent game. Um, like, I, I enjoy it. I'll probably come back to it at some point. But, but yeah. Mario Superstar Baseball. Okay, this game kicks fucking ass, and I would love to do a four-player action with this. We got, uh, Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventure, um... I would even say the single player is, is maybe worth just having this game for, let alone the multiplayer function. Because I actually quite like the single player in this game. Even though it feels kind of off, you know, controlling four different dudes at one time, but... Like, party, party mode-wise, this would be insane. The only shit kicker is, uh, you have to have, um... You know, you have to have, uh, four different, um... Or you have to have three Game Boy Advances as well as like the you know the GameCube and then the hookup cables for all those to connect to the to the GameCube itself. And I think you actually need three copies of this for the Game Boy Advance to actually to actually play it. That's a lot to ask. Like that's a lot to ask. Like only like fucking rich ass kids could could do that shit back in the day. But despite my complaints, it is pretty fun single player wise. So. Play for a single player at least. I'm pretty sure that yeah, is complete. Like I remember at one time, I th I think I actually like left this uh, like manual on the floor or something. I'm surprised it didn't get like torn to shit and stuff. It's a little bent in the corner, but still, it's uh, I'd say it's in pretty decent shape. Hell, I think it even has the 
Yeah. Little Nintendo Power thing, the... Like the... Uh, what, what is this, like a seizure warning? I, I always assume that's what this GameCube thing. Health and safety book. It's probably talking about seizures and epilepsy and shit, you know? But yeah. Yeah, I'm always gonna have this game, though. It's just... It's part of my childhood I, I just... I couldn't part with. Unless I was really, really desperate. Um... Uh, I'm actually gonna move that pile a bit. Let me get to some other lesser known ones here. Like I said, we're mostly out of like the shittiest GameCube games now. Uh, I'll save that one for later. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put that one there. All right, we'll talk about this one now. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is my childhood copy. Got Sonic Heroes. I remember, uh, I know Funky played this uh, not too long ago. Um, I've never actually gotten all, like, through all the teams. Maybe I'll do that at some point, but it's just like... In my opinion, Team Dark is just too much of a pain in the ass to deal with, so I, I always just... I only played the game as um, uh, Team Sonic and uh, Team Rose, like which is like the normal and easy mode. Um, team, team Chaotix is... It's okay, but I, I just... I, I don't know, I never had the patience to get through it all, but it's still a decent game. I, I think this is this was actually my first 3D Sonic game, believe it or not, which probably blows the mind of some people, but yeah, probably at some point I'll, pr I'll play like Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 or um, <laughs> Sonic 06. No, probably, probably not that game. Uh, kind of running out of room here. Put this shit. Okay, I can do that. I'll just make a yeah, I'll make a new stack there, whatever. This is covered with a bunch of bullshit stickers, but we got uh, the Resident Evil remake for the GameCube. This game is pretty good, actually. Um, again, maybe not so much a, a big a deal to play nowadays because you can get this like easily, like under ten dollars on like ps4 whenever whenever it goes on sale um but i did like this on the gamecube i remember i actually made it to a certain point and i like rage quit yeah i don't think i came back to it for like a year or so later um because I, I think I, I kept getting eaten by sharks or some bullshit like that uh, another thing to note is i've never actually played the um the berry side of this game i've only played the jail because it was easier I think the difference is Barry has, like, less inventory, and I didn't really want that, so. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe for Halloween next year, I'll actually play the Barry side. Who knows? Although, I'll be playing this on the PS4, though. You know, just because better resolution or whatever. So, yeah, Resident Evil remake. Uh, also, strangely enough, I, I think this, uh, when I first bought this, that was a point where it was, like, fairly cheap, like... Like, cheaper than you think it would be. Like, I think I bought this for, like, $11 or some shit. I don't, I don't remember. I have to look at my eBay, because I remember buying it off of eBay specifically. Anyway, moving on. Okay, I actually have two Zelda promotional discs. Some people are probably going to be pissed that I say that. Really, I should probably trade this into somewhere, but I... Like, I don't know what I could get out of it. Well, actually, now that I think about it... Um... I think I could probably trade this and something else for Skies of Arcadia. Maybe. Maybe. I, I might have to do some research about that. Because I've been... I've always been kind of curious about Skies of Arcadia Legends. Um, not so much with Path of Radiance. That's that's just, I think, a little bit too... Too beyond me at this point. Trying to, trying to trade up or just buy that game. But maybe I'll use this for a trade someday. But yeah. Got two promotional discs. Oh yeah, I don't know how the fuck um, the game store was selling this for this cheap, but this is the this is the uh, Zelda um, Ocarina of Time slash Master Quest like uh, bonus disc. If I remember right, I think you got this from pre-ordering Wind Waker, which is kind of amazing because that never would have happened. That 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 would that will never happen nowadays. That's for damn sure. If you actually see the label there. 
1999. You'll never see that for. You'll never see this for twenty dollars again. Never ever. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a, a good deal. I mean, mainly I just want it for for the Master Quest because I've never played it. Uh, like I've heard it's. You no, know, I've heard it's cool. But yeah, got a kind of a badass disc there too. So. Yeah, at some point, I think I actually wanted to do it at my, uh, maybe, I'll, I'll have this as either a follower goal hit, like 200 followers, or I don't know, uh, uh, 10 subs, like 10 actual subs, not just gift subs. I don't know, I'll have to think of something for it, but this is definitely in the works at some point in time, so... I got kind of another weird one here. I should probably check this out, because I, I think I only tested it out to see if it worked. Um, we got PK Out of the Shadows. It's a Donald Duck game, apparently. I mean, I don't... I guess it's like sort of a superhero sort of game, you know? But yeah, PK Out of the Shadows. What, what, you know, what can I really say about it? Okay, we got a... Uh, I think I've actually tested this out. I, th I, th I thought I think it was pretty fun. Got Soul Calibur 2. I don't really. I'm not really into into. I'm not really into fighting games, but just the fact that this has Link in it is kind of badass. So I thought, oh, you know, Soul, Soul Calibur 2. I suppose I have the. Uh... Okay, it is complete. Like complete, complete. You know what's typical for uh, Soul Calibur? It has like a guest character depending on what what system you played on. Like, I think on the, I want to say on the Xbox, Soul Calibur 2, or maybe it was 3, you could play as Master Chief, which is kind of cool. Or no, no, I think it was Kratos. I think it was Kratos. Also, hey, Morrow, did you say the berry half for Resident Evil 1? Uh, a couple minutes late on that statement, but hold on a sec. Are you talking about this game, girl? Talking about this game right here? Yeah, I've not. I've never played the Barry side for Resident Evil One Remake. I never did. I just played the Jill side. But if I do play it, it would be on the PS4 because I have the PS4 version of this game. I think I got it through a humble bundle at some point. Um, so yeah, I bet Mara's excited for some uh, for some Peach. No one has ever played Barry. Okay, whatever. Whatever, girl. Whatever. I think I'm making good time. What's... Hour 15 minutes? Okay. Alright, we got, uh... Really, I should probably try to get this resurfaced, because I always thought this was an interesting game. We got, uh, Odama here, which is basically like a, a pinball game of some, some sorts. It's... It's really different. So, sort of a story behind this... I, I think for sure this was like the last fucking GameCube game that the Walmart in my town ever like housed. And I, like I swear this game sat there for probably up until like 2014 like the, like when the Wii U was was out even. Like it's ridiculous. But the thing is they always charge fucking $40 for the fucker and it was cheaper used than to buy it new in the store. So I just thought it was the fucking craziest thing the fact that they had this GameCube sitting there for up until when the Wii U came out. Like, it's it's ridiculous. But I, I did finally get it. I, I got it at a... I think I got it at a flea market or something. Um, and it, it looks kind of tattered, as you, as you can see. But sure enough, the disc doesn't fucking work. So, I mean, I guess that's what you get. I mean, looking at it, it doesn't look that... It doesn't look that bad. Maybe I should just get it resurfaced. Like, you can't really tell on the camera, but yeah. Oh, hey, Mono. How's it going? Uh, you, it, hope, you're, uh, hope you're having a good night. I'm just showing my GameCube games, you know, just kind of chilling here. I mean, I showed some of my N64 stuff earlier, but that's not nearly as cool as my GameCube. So, I mean, I've been, I've been collecting GameCube technically since I first got it back in, like, 2003 or some shit, so. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're, we're getting towards the end here, though, like, but there's still some, there's still a couple heavy hitters. I'm gonna show. Okay, we got Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. Um, okay, just judging on that, um, 
on that five dollar sticker i think this is from that like half and half like garden slash thrift stop thrift shop that was in my town a couple years ago uh strangely enough that building is now a uh, firearms deal dealer so <laughs> interesting uh you know change of ownership there but yeah ghost recon who knows if it's good or not i've never played a tom clancy game uh never read a tom clancy book either so you know yeah maybe it's decent you have an all right night setting up your roommates.com account okay cool Uh, I think we have about 20 more here. I'll, I'll get through this, some of these shitty ones. I forgot there was this one, too. I got a, a FIFA FIFA Soccer 2003. Oh, man. Probably the best soccer game ever, guys. It's probably complete. It's always the shittiest sports games that are always complete, you know, as opposed to the good shit, right? That's just my look. Yeah. Sports, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a football game. Who gives a rat's ass? Moving on. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure I got this at a yard sale. It has a two dollar stick on a sticker on it. This is Medal of Honor Frontline. Um, I think I've heard that this is actually quite a decent game. Is this the one where you're on the seas of seas of uh, Normandy, like at the very start of the game? Okay, here we go. Storm the beaches of Normandy. Outsmart highly trained SS officers. Sabotage German U-boats. Okay. That actually sounds kind of fun, even though I'm not really into into shooters at all. But, like, I did like the first Medal of Honor game, like, for the PlayStation 1, you know? But, uh, yeah. I, I don't know if I'd actually stream this at some point, but I'll definitely give it a shot in my spare time. But, yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, most recent GameCube game. I actually bought this when I got um, Banjo Tooie back in uh, back in like March with, with some of my tax return. I have Star Fox Adventures. This is definitely going to be a stream game at some point because I've heard, well, I've heard through Funky at least that it's kind of like a Zelda is game. Like it's a it's an adventure kind of action joint. Like it's not a it's not a rail shoot or anything like you'd expect Star Fox to be normally. But, yeah. I think, is there a... Oh, well, there wouldn't be a receipt in here. I got it off eBay. But, yeah. It is complete. As complete as it can be, I mean. But it doesn't have the insert, and it has, like, kind of this dumb sticker here, but that's fine. I, I want to say I paid about $30 for, which is probably reasonable amount. Yeah, count on Star Fox Adventures at some point, guys. Uh, okay. Man, I need to get rid of some of these doubles, people. Because... Okay, first of all, what the fuck song is playing right now? Like, what the hell is this shit? Curse of Monkey Island? I like the adventure game, I guess. Well, you know what? Just to let this uh, song go out, I'm actually going to go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be back. Get 
a nasty whack and if you disrespect us, sing it, we will beat you to a crack and a party. I was meant to be trim the sails and roam the sea. I'm getting so sick of you guys and your rhyming. We're ready to set sail or the cannons need a priming. Troublesome Corsairs, we come to steal your treasure. We would shoot you on the downbeat. But we gotta rest my measures. A pirate I was, was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Stop, stop, stop. The brass is what we're polish and the deck is what we're mop. You say you're nasty pirate steaming, thieving, bad bush whackers. From what I've seen, I tell you, you're not pirate. Is this fucking song still going on? What the fuck? We'll surely avoid scurvy if we all eat an orange. Can I... I don't want to talk over this fucking stupid shit. No, no. Guess the song's over then. Yes, so. Here, let me actually request a song real quick. Gee, I feel a little guilty now. Uh... See, Advanced Wars, Adventure Island... Age of Empires. Uh, let's do an Age of Empires 2 song for Funky here. Fuck it. Oh, we got a Sui Coden song, huh? Touching theme? Okay. I can, I can go for that. I need to replay that game soon. Especially if I want to play uh, the second one. But yeah. Chair stream, best streamer. Thank you, Mara. I know I am. Trying to trying to kiss ass or something? You're the wrong. I'm the wrong person to do it to. You should kiss somebody else's ass. If you know what I mean. Anyway, um, yeah, I guess I have another Resident Evil Zero copy. I don't even know. Oh no, no. I, I think I explained this earlier. Like I thought I, I thought this is another game that I already had when I saw it in the store. So I bought this anyway. Like, I think I thought this was maybe like Code Veronica or whatever. I, I don't even know what system that's on. Um, but yeah, I think I thought this was uh, like a different... Uh, what do you want to call it? S uh, side series? Sub-series? Whatever you call it. Um, spin-off. That's the word I'm looking for. I thought it was another spin-off, so that's why I have two of these. I'm pretty sure this is complete too, though. Yeah, it's complete. Huh. Does, does anyone need a copy of this? Like, I, I the thing is, I don't think, uh, I don't think a lot of Resident Evil spinoff games are really worth that much, so. Then again, it still is a GameCube game. Did I? I think I might have actually paid $14 for that, if you can even see that. There you go. This is $14. I don't know. I mean, that sounds like something I would have spent $14 on. Okay, you're gonna save that game towards the end because it's awesome. Uh, another Mario Party Seven. I'm pretty sure this is my childhood copy because it's not covered in bullshit. Yeah, it's got the manual disc. Uh, it still absolutely works. Um, actually, I'll probably play this with my roommate at some point because um, he likes Mario Party. So, and then again, who doesn't like Mario Party? But it's a pretty good Mario Party game. The thing with the Mario Party games is, uh, that's the only one that I have. Er, is that the only one I have? Yeah, I'm almost positive that's the only one I have because they're all sort of the same in my eyes. And the other thing is, like, I, I can't stand, like, the fact that, you know, like, Mario Party, you know, 4 through 6 are ex expensive as they are on the GameCube. So that's why I only have 7 because I grew up with it. I even have that stupid mic that came with it, too. Uh, another Sonic Sonic Mega Collection. Um, still no manual. has a disc. I assume it works. I don't remember if I've tested it or not. Another Zelda Wind Waker. Again, I should probably get rid of at least one of these Wind Wakers, especially if I have the Wii U version. You know, I, I don't really... I, I, don't really I, re I don't really need to play it on the GameCube anymore, so... Yeah, another Wind Waker. 
probably have those two together here. I'm gonna show those two off in a sec. Oh, Mara will love this one, probably. Mara will always be best girl. The fuck are you talking about, Tara? I think you need to meet. I, I think you need to meet some more uh, women out there, Tara. Let me just. I'll tell you what. Anyways, moving on. Yeah, Mara would love this game. Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. Um. Yeah. Other than the the most recent Animal Crossing game, I, I think the only reason I actually kind of like the, the newest one, um, New Horizons, is because of like kind of the crafting system that it ha that it has. Um, but like the Animal Crossing the DS I thought it was boring as fuck and this Animal Crossing uh, he, well here's the thing like I know it works I can recognize maybe some people would like it back in the day you know it has it has a certain appeal but one thing that kind of turns me off is the fact that you have to use a whole memory card just to fucking save a, you know one game file on it is kind of stupid and as you might have noticed there is no memory card with this but the game does work, so there's that, you know. But, yeah, Animal Crossing. Kind of think of it, I, I probably should sell this or something. Like, I'll, I'll never play it, so. But it is what it is. You gotta go, Mono? Alright, see ya, man. Have a good, uh, have a good evening. You're not a mod on my channel, right, Mar? Right, 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 right Mar? Okay. I'm just checking if you were a mod or not. Uh, I should probably show this one first here. I'm gonna show this one. So this I also got fairly recent too via eBay. Uh, I'm trying to remember if I bought this with something else or not. But finally, I own Pokemon Coliseum. You don't understand why very quickly. Um. I'm kind of glad I bought this one I did. I don't think it's actually complete. No, it just it just has the disc. Like for me, nowadays, I don't necessarily care about the actual manual. Uh, I mean, it has some insert shit, but it's like whatever. Um, I mostly just care about the like the legit case it came in, the, the, the disc, and the original art. That's usually all I care about nowadays when it comes to you know, retro uh, disc game collecting. Also, you might notice that there's kind of like a, a tear out here, but I figured I could just, you know, exchange this for another game and it'd be, you know, all right. Like just pop out, out the yard and shit. But yeah, Pokemon Coliseum, I'm kind of glad I got it when I did because it fucking skyrocketed after COVID hit. Uh, like I think I got this for, I mean, I think I got this for about $51, honestly. Like it's, it's kind of retarded. But, like, I think just the disc now is worth, like, fucking 70 or some shit. I'm, I'm, I'm actually curious. Let me look it up real quick. But, like, I, I got it at kind of a perfect time in that regard. Pokemon Coliseum. Okay, GameCube. Okay, yeah, it says, it says loose, loose price, $84. I mean, you're out of your fucking mind, people. Who the fuck is paying $84 for a disc for a Pokemon game that sold fucking millions? That's just fucking stupid. But, you know, hopefully that's a bubble that'll that'll burst, because I... I mean, I, I'm actually pissed off at a lot of other people who, who played the, the sequel, you know, wanted to play the original, like, it, you know, like, what the case mine is. Kind of pissed about that. Anyway, moving on. Uh, that... This will definitely be a blind stream at some point. I'm not quite sure when. I want to say sometime this year. I mean, I, I did I didn't want to get Pokemon Sword before this, so I do have Sword out of the way uh, for this, and I'm I'm sort of hyped to experience this for the first time. I would say sort of blind because uh, I think that a lot of the assets from this are used in the sequel, which I'm pretty familiar with. But yeah, Pokemon Coliseum, it'll happen at some point. And then, of course, I've talked about Pokemon Coliseum. I got Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. This game fucking melts faces every day of the week. Um, it is complete somehow. <laughs> I've, I've had it since I was probably like 11 years old. It's a, it's a pretty fucking sweet game. I mean, hell, just the cover. That Shadow Lugia, like it looks like it's going to fucking kill your whole family in front of you. Like, you don't want to fuck with them, you know? 
And honestly, I really wish that they would make like another sort of XD, uh, what do you call it, Shadow Pokemon game for the Switch, because I would probably buy it day one. I'd probably buy it day one. Like, that's how much I'd love to see one. Um, uh, to do one better, I actually even have the strategy guide for this fucking game. Uh, it, it's in another room somewhere, but I, I actually have an EB Games strategy guide. Yeah, EB Games. Uh, before, you know, GameStop took over them in, uh, in, in America. I think EB Games is technically still around in, um, in Canada. But yeah, I got an EB Games a strategy guide for this. That's how legit I am. And probably at some point do a stream of this or something, just because I love it. But yeah, Gale of Darkness, it kicks ass. I mean, but... Again, that, that, that skyrocketed a fuck ton too in the past, you know, year or so. So it is what it is. Okay, next we got, uh, we got Tales of Symphonia. Um, I think I remember this going down quite a bit because of the, uh, the Symphonia collection that they put on, uh, that they put on, uh, I think they put it on PS3 or some shit like that. But yeah, they, they did that, and I think it kind of lowered the, the value of the GameCube version, but I don't really care. You know, I'll play it on the GameCube again, it's not that big a deal. One thing that does kind of suck is, uh, this case fucking sucks. Like, this is one of those shitty GameStop cases that they don't give a fuck about, because, you know, GameStop don't care about anything. Um, yeah, I really need to get, get, get like, a proper case of inserts for these at some point, because I do like the game quite a bit. Um... I would say it might be, well, I don't know if it's my favorite Tales game, because I've only played three, uh, Symphonia, Zillia, and Zestiria. Those are the only three that I've played. Um, Zestiria is definitely the least one I liked. I don't know, when I get to, um, what the hell's it called, v Vesperia? Because I got the definitive version for that. When I play that, maybe that'll be my favorite, because everyone seems to love that to death, so... Yeah, Tales of Symphonia. It's good. It's good times. Let's see, yeah, I gotta wrap this up here. About an hour, 35 minutes. Uh, Mario Kart Double Dash. Uh, what can I say? This is actually my favorite Mario Kart game. Uh, people like to talk about 8 and... Um, oh, what's that one? Um, uh, Mario Kart Wii. People say that's pretty good too. I mean, they are fun, don't get me wrong. I don't know, just something about Double Dash, like the fact that you can actually have two people on one cart, you know, kicking ass and taking names is kind of cool. It's not complete, but, you know, it, it's good enough. I I, I know I, I paid for this hella cheap, though. I know that for sure. It was hella cheap when I bought this. It was maybe like three or four dollars, so. Can't say no to that. That's definitely gonna be the last pile there. Because that's definitely the most expensive game I have. Are these more? Man, I have so many fucking doubles, people, it's ridiculous. I got another Mario Superstar baseball. Maybe this is the one that I that I bought because at that at that one place, because it has that five dollar mark on there like those other ones. But yeah, Mario Superstar Baseball, it's it's fun. Okay, this is actually complete, okay. That's cool. Yeah, I already said all I needed to. It's it's actually a good baseball game, so check it out. I don't know where the fuck I got this too. Another Wario World, uh again, it's cool. Check it out. I know for sure I did not pay twenty-six dollars for this. I don't know where the fuck uh I've never heard of game on. I don't know what that is. Oh, what? Oh, there's not a game in there. Okay, maybe it's just the case that I have. Whatever. Huh. I'll deal with it. Well, this is definitely this is definitely kind of an old one that the store had at some point. Uh, another Super Mario Sunshine. I mean, I quite like Sunshine. It's it's pretty fucking fun. Um. One thing that kind of pissed me off about, like, I've actually played the... Oh, yeah, this actually is complete. Cool. Uh, when I... When I was playing the 3 All-Stars that came out, like, in, uh... I don't know, last last November, I want to say, or October. 
uh, the input delay for this game was so fucking bad, it was it was almost unplayable. I was just like, holy shit, the input input delay is fucking garbage in the All Stars version of this game. Um, kind of a shame because you know that's like a third of the game, a third of the compilation that's so janked up that you know you couldn't see yourself really playing it. But at least I can play the original whenever I want. So like that. Okay, we got uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. I know this is a game that Funky beat. I think it was just a month ago, wasn't it, that he that he got all the endings? I, I don't think I'll ever do that. I've never actually played this for more than probably a couple minutes. Just because, I, I don't know, the concept just seems so goofy to me. You know, you got, you got a Sonic character using a fucking gun and killing guys. Like, what the fuck is that about? Uh, the price was right, though. I think that said $2 there. Corner. Yeah, two dollars. Um, okay, it is complete. You know, one thing that that sucks ass about like this particular yard sale I went to, they actually had a copy of Irby, uh, Irby. They had Kirby Air Ride also for a couple dollars. Regret it. I didn't have enough cash on me at the time. At the time, so I skipped it. Instant regret. Because uh, I know that's kind of an expensive game now. Okay, I mean, in Kirby Air Ride, like you know. I wouldn't want to play a Kirby racing game, honestly. But yeah, oh well. Tough shit. Okay, now we got uh, Metroid Prime. Uh, this is just... I don't have the bonus disc. Like, slight story about this. I think this is actually... I think this is complete, isn't it? Yeah. Metroid Prime. Uh, I mean, it's still like the bonus... case disc or whatever. But I'm not really too concerned about this. Yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy what fucking Metroid Prime games go for nowadays, because I, I remember distinctively, I, I paid, I think, like $8 for this. And and, and what happened was, um, uh, when I went to the GameStop, uh, and, and I bought my coffee and I took it home, I think I played maybe two or three hours, and the game actually, like, fucked up, like, it froze and shit. And it, it might have even deleted my save file, I don't quite remember. But it, it was so janky that I actually exchanged it for another one. So that's how I got this this different, you know, cover instead. But I mean, cool if I ever find the bonus disc, but I doubt I'll find it or care to buy it because I'm sure the bonus disc is way more than it really needs to be to not be its own game. So yeah, Metroid Prime. Oh, uh, have not beaten this game either. So another another potential future, you know, stream of it because I don't I don't hate the game at all. It's just, uh, I do like how, um, much better the map is in Prime compared to, like, Super Metroid or even the original Metroid. So that's kind of why I preferred Prime over any other, you know, games in the series so far. Um, I mean, maybe when I eventually play other M, maybe that'll change my mind, or when I play, uh, the fuck you call it, uh, Prime 4, whenever the fuck that's coming out. I don't know. Probably be 32 by then, but... Yeah, Metroid Prime. Count on a stream at some point. Because I've not beaten it. I've gotten far. But, uh, okay, next we got uh, Lost Kingdoms here. Um, I actually got this from the game store in my own town. Which is strange because they're usually pretty good at, like, charging relatively, um, uh, what do you want to call it? Resale prices for games. But I guess they slipped up on this one. Then again, this wasn't going for what it was a year and a half ago. But even still, I got this for hella cheap. Like, uh, it is not complete, it just has the disc. But the, the receiving here, I, I looked at this earlier when I was moving this shit. Um, see, I bought this... I bought this about three years ago. It was 23rd of August, 2018. Uh, and I got this for $2, $1.99. So it's worth a lot more than $1.99 now, that's for sure. I think it's like... I want to say it's like upper 20s, if not $30 or so. I don't, I don't quite remember. But yeah, apparently I bought this with Ape Escape for the PS1 and Saga Frontier for the PS1. Those were both $2 too. Why were they selling that for so cheap? Like, what the fuck? Like, you know, on the top of my head at the time, Ape Escape was at least like upper teens, at least. So I, I don't know what crack they were smoking when they were pricing those, but... Hey, whatever. It's not my fault. Okay, I lost kingdoms. I heard it's kind of like a 
like a card-based RPG, so I'm somewhat curious to check it out, but yeah. Okay, this one is, uh, I probably should get a proper case for this too. We got Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles here. That shitty-ass GameCube, uh, GameStop case, because they, you know, they don't care. Yeah, it's literally, it's literally just the game. I need to get, like, some kind of makeshift case for this. Because this is just embarrassing, I mean, goddamn. Um, the game's alright. Like, I don't remember, I don't really remember it being especially fun. But then, but then again, this is really meant to be played with, like, multiple people, not just by yourself, so... You know, there's that. Um, yeah. Final uh, Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. whoop de doo whoop de fucking do. Now this one, um, since uh, kind of watching Funky play it a bit on, on stream, I kind of thought about this too. Uh, Custom Robo. Um, it looks complete. Technically, it is complete. Like, if I open it up manual and disc but to my knowledge the disc does not work because i almost actually sent i almost uh, mailed this game to funky but when i tested it it didn't play so i was like okay well then i'm not gonna send it obviously i mean looking on the back it, it looks like maybe it could be redeemed like i don't know it looks like it has a lot of uh, like, like it looks like someone like took like a, a pin and just and that's probably not a good sign, so it might be fucked. Actually, let me put it up to the light, maybe. I mean, it doesn't look like there's any disc rot, so... Maybe I'll actually try resurfing, resurfacing this tomorrow. Maybe, maybe actually restore it, because that'd be good. Because, uh, it does seem like kind of a neat game, you know? Like a robot fighter, basically. So, yeah. Yeah, we'll just see if I can restore it and maybe play it at some point. Maybe even on stream, who knows. Okay, yeah, we're, get, we're getting pretty close here, about six games left. I'm gonna have to rush this one because it's kind of, it's all right. Got Feudal, Beautiful Joe 2, um, sequel to the first Beautiful Joe, which I actually quite quite enjoyed. Um, there's the the... The, the case. Another one from McFans there. Like I said, they're out of business. Oh wow, that yeah, I don't even know if that game will work. It is scratched the fuck out of. Holy shit. Well, hopefully I got it for cheap enough. I mean, it doesn't look like anything I spent more than like a dollar on or so. It is what it is. Uh... Okay, just just one more Super Mario Sunshine. I think this is the one I actually bought for back in the day because you see that like I don't even think you can read it right here, but there's a sticker on there. It says uh, sixteen ninety nine. Yeah, sixteen ninety nine. Yeah, she'll never see it for that much anymore. I'm pretty sure it's complete though. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I played the fuck out of this when I was in, like, middle school and high school, so... Kinda glad to have, uh... Kinda glad to have this. Uh... I think I, I, think I bought this at, at the same place I bought, like, Shadow the Hedgehog at at Pikmin. Got Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix, which just saying that makes me want to laugh my ass off. And we got it for $5 there. Apparently they got... They got this... GameStop sold this shit for $40? Holy fuck. That is ridiculous. Okay, it is complete, though. Like, I'm aware that... Radio, brought to you by RPGamers.net. Uh, I'm aware that uh, this came with, like, an actual, like, Dance Dance Revolution pad. Like, it was kind of like a, a package deal. But I, I didn't see it there, so I just got the bare game. Uh, I think you can still play this with the actual controller, right? Yeah. In fact, you can do two players simultaneously. Probably gets pretty intense, though. But yeah. Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. I just thought it was so hilarious. I, I, I had to buy it. Alright, just four more left here. This one's sort of by coincidence. The last three are intentional. I, le I left out for the end. Got The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess. Fucking love this game. 
In fact, this would probably be the game I'd be most willing to do like a like a proper speedrun on. Although I don't know what speedrun would actually be decent for this game. Probably like, I don't know, five hours or some shit like that. But yeah, this this game is fucking epic as hell. Um, oh, that's right, that's right. I forgot I actually have uh, two discs for this. The reason why is I had a friend borrow this when I was uh, when I was in high school, and he actually lost the he actually lost the disc. So I think I purposely went on eBay and I just bought the disc. But the di just the disc online was not cheap at the time. Like uh, I think even like 2010, the disc itself was like 30 bucks. So yeah, it's yeah nothing to. Nothing to sneeze about, but yeah, like I said, it is pretty complete. It's got the, you know, the other stupid bullshit in there too, besides the manual. But yeah. Well, good to know I have a, I have a spare Zelda disc, I guess, for Twilight Princess. Other than again, since I have the Wii U version, um, maybe it's a little superfluous. I mean, I have the, uh, I have the Wii version of this too, but this is far better than the Wii version in my opinion, just because of the, you know, the lack of motion control. So, so there's that. Favorite, favorite 3D Zelda game right there. Favorite actual Zelda game, not just 3D, but you know. All right, these last two, or these last three, I'm gonna save that one for very last. Uh, I'd say, I'd say at this point, these are kind of, these are fairly heavy hitters, at least for how much they go for online and you know the popularity. I've got, uh, I've got Biden Kaidos. Eternal Wings of the Lost Ocean and Biden Kaidos Origins. I got two of them, bitch. I got two. I got two. Both from completely different stores, actually. Um, this is from Mega Replay, I know, because they always use that kind of labeling there. In fact, do I have the receipt in there? Okay, I, I do not. I thought I had the receipt. I might have had it in a different game at the time. Holy shit, that is a huge ass manual. Let me. Let me take that son of a bitch out. Damn, that, that feels like it's like 40 fucking pages. I'm just curious, how big is this manual? Damn, this, 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 if you include the notes, this booklet is 48 pages long. Holy shit. It's pretty sweet Tales of Symphonia in the background, too. In the back. Yeah, how cool is that manual? That looks kick-ass, dude. But yeah. Uh, these are considered, I guess, pretty good, like, card battle RPG games. I haven't actually played them myself, so hell, for all I know, they don't even work. Or, they, or they're boring as fuck. Can I, like... Not sure I'll be, I'm not sure if I've even looked at these discs. Okay, that looks pretty decent, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty decent too. So yeah, I got both of these uh, for a hell of deals, actually. Like, I, th I think this game is at least three times more now. Complete. And then Origins is kind of gone fucking, you know, cuckoo for Cocoa Puss level of crazy in terms of price. <clears throat> like, I'm not even sure quite why this is worth more than the other one. The only thing I think I can think of is this is a pretty late release. Like, I think this actually came out in 2006. I think it says on the back, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, I mean, it says 2006. So, yeah, it was probably pretty pretty late release. Uh, yeah, $30. I actually bought this and, um, I'm pretty sure I bought this at, at, uh, at the store in my hometown. So, yeah. Who would have, who would have thought I could get that good a deal here, too? Okay, there's a receipt for this one. When did I buy this? Oh, this is the same time I bought Super R-Type for the Super Nintendo. That's funny. Okay, I bought this September 30th, 2018, so, like, three years ago. Okay. Okay, I don't know how. I, I got 25%. I got $25 off? I must have used trade-in credit or something. I think that's what I was thinking of at the time. Yeah, so that's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, it's complete too. Pretty sexy. 
Yeah, those are two probably the best, um, like, the best in terms of, like, you know, quality and, like, collector prestige that I have. Except for the last one here. But yeah, Bun Kaidos. I don't even think Funky has these games, so I guess I got a one-up on, on him in that regard. I like how there's, like, a little thing in the, in the middle for your memory card. It's pretty sweet. Alright, so now the best, the best for last. Although I'm kind of pissed off how, at how expensive this got recently. Da 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 da! Chibi Robo, plug into adventure. Yeah. It's fucking, fucking badass, huh? So yeah, this is Chibi Robo. Um, pretty much a dead IP from Nintendo. I, I think it's kind of a shame. Like, they easily could have brought this, like, on the Wii U or. I think this would do quite well on the Switch, too, honestly, if they made a. Hell, even if they just made a straight-up port of this to the Switch, I think it would sell well. Um, but yeah, I've had this for many, many years. I think the only reason I even know about this game is because I I played the demo, like, 2005, 2006. Because I think this is also a late release in the in the console's lifespan. Uh, but yeah, this, this, game is, this game is definitely... I'm going to be streaming it at some point, because it's so cool. Although you, you wouldn't think it is, because it's kind of like a, I guess like a chore simulator of sorts, like... Like, you play as a little robot and you, like, do little chores, you know, like, cleaning up after the messes and, you know, like, picking trash up and... And, like, killing bugs or whatever, or whatever the hell that's supposed to be in the corner. I think it's supposed to be a bug, I don't know. But yeah, Chibi Robo, it's, uh... It's a pretty fun game, actually. I, I'd recommend people check it out, like, on an emulator. I wouldn't recommend people actually buy the shit because uh let me look real quick uh okay gamecube i mean i'd say mine's complete it's not like top tier like i could probably get a slightly better case but it has really everything yeah okay according to this it is 204 dollars complete in box yeah you're better off just emulating it. I hope it emulates well, because that's 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 absolutely ridiculous. I mean, hell, even like a couple years ago, I think this is kind of up there in price. Yeah, up, it was up there in price. It was like sixty dollars complete in complete in box, like uh, about two years ago. So, yeah, kind of ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I don't know how this game like just shot up in price so much compared to all the others. It's just, it's ridiculous. But yeah, that is my, that is my GameCube collection. I hope you enjoyed. I, I feel like I have, you know, a good amount of GameCube games. Oh, Dragon, you have horrible timing, sir. I literally just got done showing my collection, sir, and I love how my face is getting covered by, uh, Josuke Higashita. Which, uh, surprised they even said his name right there. But yeah, how, how you doing, Dragon? I just got done showing my GameCube collection. You missed it, but that's okay. You probably own that shit, too. Or maybe you don't, because you're a PC elitist. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I, I somewhat feel like playing a game now, but... Like... You know, what would I, what, would, what game would I play when I'm just at my computer, you know what I mean? Other than RuneScape, but I don't feel like streaming that at all. I don't know, you guys got any ideas? And then again, it is, uh... It is 1.47 in the morning. Mm. Maybe I should turn that music down a little bit now, perhaps. Oh wow, this is, uh, Dark Souls 2 music? Queen of Drain, Drain Gaelic. Whoa, that's way too loud. I'm turn it up. God damn. Uh. Um, is there anybody? Is the oh is uh is Drew streaming here? Cause I'll I'll, I'll raid him here. Cause I don't I don't really have anything else that I wanted to show. I don't know. Just for grins, did you want did you want me to show you my um? Uh, 
I could show you my Wii U games real quick. You guys want to see my Wii U stuff real quick? I mean, I don't have many Wii U games. I have maybe like, maybe like 13 of them. Let me get some water and I'll be back. You know, after after sipping a little water, I think I am going to show my Wii U games just real quick, but with a bonus. I'm a trubbish now, guys. I'm going to do it as a trubbish. I'm in my true form now, guys. I know, I, I know, I, everyone loves the fucking Trubbish hat. Come on now. Hey, let me take this shit out of my shelf. Oh, hey, Frog, how's it going? I kind of wish you could uh, see, but I'm actually wearing my Trubbish hat right now. Probably most of these Wii U games, you could probably predict what they are. I just, I don't really own a lot of Wii U stuff. Alright, this will, this will, alright, this will be pretty quick though. Just, I don't know, a nice, a nice stream topper off. Shaking your head, dragon. Don't be fucking jealous of my hat. Don't be jealous. Hey, I, I I bet I could probably find a magic heart hat just for you, or a, a some other Pokemon. I'm just trying to think of what would match you. I think I think you'd be the king of carp. I think you'd pull that off pretty well, Dragon. Good. I, I fucking love this hat, dude. It's awesome. <laughs> it's, it's so ridiculous. Anyway, um, I guess I'll show off this shitty game first. We got, uh, uh, the, the, you know, the Breath of the Shitty Wild there. Legend of Zelda. Um, yeah, I had this on the Wii U. Because when, when, you know, when this came out, there's no way in fuck I was going to buy a Switch just to play one game. Come on. Even though I'm a big fan of Zelda. Um, I was going to say it's complete in box, but I forgot at this point. They said, manuals? Fuck that. Fuck manuals. Man, those are fucking pussies. Anyway, like it's a, it's a, it's a good open world game. I don't think it's a good Zelda game though, personally. Uh, I mean, when I say when I say it's a shitty game, I mean it's a shitty Zelda game. I'm not saying it's a bad open world game. I think it's a good open world game. But uh, I mean, if you want to fight me about it, Mar, I can meet you. I mean, it's, it's not too late to do some ass whooping, but, you know. I got an opinion. You're just going to have to d fucking deal with it. Fucking deal with it, Marl. But, uh, you know, I've, I've never actually gotten, like, everything in this game. Or at least all the spirit orbs or whatever. I still have to get the rest of them. I think I'm missing maybe five or six. I don't remember. As for, like, the Korok Seeds and the side quests, I, I think I have a lot of the Korok Seeds, but I, I never once thought about getting every single one. I think there's, like, what, 900 or so Korok Seeds in the game. And, uh, as for the side quests, I think I still have, like, 
maybe seven left. I don't I don't quite remember. But I'll have to get back to it at some point when I feel the mood to waste another 20 hours of my life, so. Uh, next, I, I really should go back to this game just because I, I heard it, it got its last update recently. Um, you got Shovel Knight. This game's pretty fucking good, honestly. Also, why does this feel so thick? Does this have an actual... Oh, it actually does. It has like a legit book in it, dude. Like, look at this shit, dude. Got a little cute little insert. Oh, this oh, this is actually a free copy of the Shovel Knight soundtrack. That's freaking dope. I, I wonder if I've ever redeemed that. I should, because I do like the soundtrack. But yeah, like look how look how thick this bitch is, guys. That is fucking sexy. But yeah, I heard that they introduced uh, or they. They put in the last um, free DLC, like you play as one of the one of the knights or whatever. Like, I I don't quite remember what they call it. But yeah, I I know at least uh, at the time that I beat the game, you could uh, play as Specter Knight, which is kind of neat. So, but yeah, it kind of blows my mind like how how much love that that the developers of uh, of Shovel Knight had for the game. So. Oh yeah, there's Shovel Knight. Pretty sweet. I can't get over the fact that it actually has like a fucking 50 page manual in it too. Uh, hey Flammy, how's it going? I'm just showing off uh, some of my stuff tonight before I end it. Because I, I didn't feel like uh, streaming an actual game tonight, so I thought I'd show off some of my collection. Also, what the f- is this some Beauty and the Beast shit playing right now? What is this song? Fantasy Life? Riv- Riviera, Riviera of Riviera. If I remember right, isn't Fantasy Life that uh, that 3DS game? I think it is. I played it. It's actually a pretty good game. <clears throat> oh, good morning for you, Flammy. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it is morning, isn't it? You talking about your Final Fantasy XIV bullshit? Whatever. I'll just, I'll just be my trubbish self. Don't mind me. Uh, so anyways, I got Tokyo Mirage Sessions F Sharp. This is actually a pretty good game. Like, I feel it's, like, it's, it's it, I feel like it's actually a little bit underrated. Honestly. Um, but yeah, this is pretty fun. I feel, oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, okay, that's, that's, uh... Got Mario 3D World in there too, apparently. But, like that's what the actual disc looks like. Yeah. You'll see that again here in a, in, in a bit, because I I actually have two copies of this, believe it or not. Okay, this one you should be seeing at at some point because I still haven't played it. I played the prequel though. I got Bayonetta 2, bitches. And this is actually the one that has both the games. Bayonetta, Bayonetta 2. Bayonetta, Bayonetta 2. So yeah. Like, I, I remember at some point they actually, like, stopped the, uh... What do you want to call it? They, they stopped the circulation of the dual disc game, and then thus this became more expensive for a short time, but... Yeah, as you, as you saw by the label, well, plus there's a receipt here, too. Yeah, I got this for, I got this for $20. Definitely worth it for two... For two damn, for two damn good uh, hack and slash games. I don't know when I'm gonna play the second one. Although I probably should play it soon because I, I think there's actually a third one in the works. Since uh, since Nintendo owns the uh, the property now, or or they commissioned Platinum Games to make a third one. It, it, it's one of those two. But yeah, Bayonetta, pretty sweet. Looking sexy as fuck on there as usual. Right, this one I played back in uh, January. Yeah, I think it's still actually in my Wii U, maybe. Maybe it's somewhere. Uh, Batman. Batman Arkham City Armored Edition. Yeah, it's it's Batman. I enjoyed it. I actually thought about going back and uh, doing like some of the Riddler shit, and I I don't think I got like I don't think I like beat all the villains in it. You know what I mean? 
like there's this guy on the phone I forget what his name was but there like there's this guy on the phone that he had to like trace his call for I don't think I ever finished that so maybe I should go back to that game it was fun I personally thought um uh Arkham Asylum was was better but you know oh I, I actually forgot I even had this game Got Xenoblade Chronicles X. Uh, I, I guess I got this at the game store in my town because they always use a label like that, like those big bat bold letters on, like some kind of. It looks like tape almost, but I think it's an actual sticker paper that they use. Yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles X. I heard this isn't as good as uh, the actual Xenoblade Chronicles, but I don't know. I'd have to I'd have to get to that and and judge it for myself. But, yeah, there's X. You bought Man Eater on Steam a while ago. It's fun, Mindless Slaughter. It, I think that has to do with the shark, doesn't it? Like, you play as a wild shark. I think I've heard of that game. But, yeah, uh, this game's actually pretty good. I actually kind of feel bad because, uh... Because I, I didn't pay it, I, I didn't play it like when it was brand new. Like I bought it at a steep discount, and that's a uh, wonderful 101. This game is actually pretty good, believe it or not. Um, I like how the art. It kind of reminds me of Beautiful Joe in a sense, um, but I mean gameplay. It's it's it's, it's very different. Although I guess you would call it like a beat 'em up kind of game, but it's 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 pretty fucking it's pretty fucking good. Yes, Flammy, I, I do own a Wii U. I don't own a lot of games for it, but I, I, I thought well, I might as well just show it off because I'm about to end the stream soon, so... Or unless you guys have someone I can raid. But yeah, Wonderful 101. It's pretty sweet. Play it. Uh, I think by now... Like, Platinum actually put it on, um... Like, other consoles. Like, I think they put a port to the PS4 of it. I think they put a port to the Switch for it. So, yeah. Pretty cool. I definitely recommend playing Wonderful 101 if you can. Okay, next, uh, definitely one of the things to get a, a Wii U for. Lot, I'm trying to think if it's actually better than the second title, but I got Pikmin 3. Uh, I remember being pretty fun. I don't think I've done like every single thing in the game though. I think I just did like the main story, so maybe I should give it another go. But it, I remember it being pretty fun. I know the two ones that they added was the. Yeah, they got winging Pikmin. I think they're called Fairy Pikmin. And, uh, the, the Rock Pikmin. Which I think are similar to the purple ones in the second game. Something like that. But yeah. Pikmin 3. It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. I actually wouldn't be too opposed to doing, um... Like a Pikmin trilogy of streams. I wouldn't be totally opposed to it, but then again... I don't know if that would actually be very popular or not, unless I'm speedrunning, but there's no way I'd speedrun a game like this. I, I don't love it that much, you know. But yeah, Pikmin 3. It's pretty sweet. Uh, this one I actually got fairly uh, recently, because there is a... Uh, there's a business, uh, like, closing. Pretty, like, literally across the street where I, where I work at. Um, so I decided to buy this for kind of cheap. I got Zombie U. Uh, Probably not a very great game. I think this is actually like a launch title. Or it came out pretty close to when the system first came out. Like I, I want to say I paid less than $5 for this. But yeah, Zombie U. Does this require a... Okay, you can play this with, with anything but... You can play this with stuff other than the gamepad. I was I was curious about that. But, like, it's showing a lot of shit compared to your... It says over 15 ways to use the Wii U gamepad. Maybe I don't want to use the gamepad. Ever thought of that? Rent one, get, get one free. Yeah, I think it was a video rental store, like Hollywood Video or something similar to that. Yeah, they were going into business, so I, I bought some shit from them fairly cheap. I know I got like a couple PS4 games too, like uh, A Way Out and um, Rage 2, I got that also. I think I had a couple of DVDs. Like I think I got a... I think I got a documentary or something. Well you definitely had tr had problems with marketing. Yes. Yes it did indeed. 
Oh yeah, Zombie U. Got it for cheap, so whatever. I know that's the last Wii U game I, I bought. That was uh, earlier this year. I'm gonna save that one, because that's, that's the only like special edition that I have for any of these games. Have I played Blast Corpse? I don't... I don't think I have. I don't think I have. Is it is it pretty fun? Uh, obviously, since I was just playing this uh, before I went on vacation, but is Zelda the Wind Waker HD? This game fucking melts faces. Honestly, this is really the only way to play Wind Waker nowadays. Like, you can kind of tell the GameCube your version to you know fuck right off. Honestly, but uh, oh what? Oh okay, so Batman's in here. Um, this game is actually in my Wii U right now, so yeah. That's why. But yeah, Wind Waker kicks ass every day of the week. I'm not quite sure where I got this one. I want to say I got it at a yard sale. I, I don't normally buy fighting games, but uh, this is Injustice, God Am Gods Among Us. It's, I mean, it's a superhero fighting game. Kind of a grittier one. Like, it, it's, it's a little bit different from what you'd expect from, like, um, like a, you know, Marvel versus DC Universe or you know, Capcom versus Marvel, you know, sort of fighting game. Like, I think it's a little bit more grittier than that. But, I mean, I think I've heard it's fun. I played it for a little bit with my nephew, it seemed alright. Okay, I was wondering if there was, like, a receipt, because I don't have a clue how much I paid for it. I want to say maybe $10. Oh, yeah, there's that. Blast Corpse is one of, it's one of your favorite N64 titles. It's hard as fuck. You didn't realize Wii U had fighting game titles? Well, I think uh, Injustice was a multi-plat game, to be fair. So, there is that, Flammy. Like, I'm pretty sure that was a multi-plat. Okay, yeah, this is actually pretty fucking fun. Like, it took me a while to actually own this, but... I think this is after I played, um... Uh, the Dragon Quest Heroes game. And this is uh, Hyrule Warriors here. It's it's pretty fun. I would actually go back just to do the side shit because they got some interesting um, kind of modes. Like there's kind of this like sort of challenge mode where it it has like these like squares that kind of reenact like the the OG Zelda, you know, like the world map of that. And like each room, you have to do like a certain challenge and shit to advance. It's kind of awesome. But uh, yeah, Hyrule Warriors is it, it, it's. It's, it's good mindless fun. In fact, I, I wouldn't mind getting the, uh, the fuck is this shit? Oh. Yeah, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. I don't think I actually have that game with me, but I have the disc for it. Uh, I, I think that might, I think that disc might actually be my sister's, I don't know. Because she has a Wii U as well. Um. But yeah, Hyrule Warriors, it's, it's good fun. I, I'd probably even play the sequel, but I, I don't... I don't know how much better it is. I don't know if it's the same shit or, or anything, but... Hyrule Warriors, it's good times. We're almost done here. Uh, got Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. Also known as Smash 4 to pretty much everyone else. But yeah. Watching my disc placement is sloppy. Probably. But I mean, I am... I am a trubbish, so... You kind of have to expect that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, Smash 4, uh, was pretty much the best Smash ever. Like, in certain aspects, I think this might actually be a little bit better than, um, uh, than, uh, Smash Ultimate. Because, uh, this has the master, the master hand in, like, crazy orders shit. I don't think the most recent one has. And I like that mode, so it's kind of, uh, seems kind of stupid that they would remove it from this, but... Yeah, Smash Bros. for Wii U, it's pretty damn awesome. I'm just curious if I had another CD in there or not. But yeah. Highly recommend it. Uh, okay, yeah, we got Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. I know I streamed this like a year or two ago. It's, it's a pretty decent puzzle game. It's pretty decent. I don't remember if I actually got, like every single thing in this game, but I, I know I got pretty damn close. Like, I got 98% of everything in the game done, so... So that's pretty sweet. I, I really wish they would make a, a version of this on the Switch. I know they make, like... They made, like, a... Like, a director's cut version on the Switch, but I don't care about that. I want... I, you know, I want something new. Give me something new. God damn it. 
But yeah, it's fun little puzzle game. Okay, I guess technically I have two, um... I guess technically I have two, uh, special editions of, of games. So the one you probably already know about is, uh, the... Twilight Princess, uh, with the Wolf Link ami Amiibo. I've actually never opened this. I really should, because I... I do plan on, uh, playing this at some point. Um... Hopefully, hopefully by the fall, hopefully by the fall, I'll be playing this. I know this has a hero mode on it, too. Yeah, I, I got this, I think, $30 at Walmart four or five years ago. But, yeah. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Oh, okay, it's showing it's showing how the, the Link and Toon Link can refill your arrows and... Zelda Sheik can restore your health, and then Ganondorf, you take double damage. I do not have a Ganondorf amiibo. Although, to be honest, if I'm playing on hero, hero mode and I use Ganondorf, that's probably going to be brutal. Like, I, I can't really think of a harder game than that. But, oh yeah, okay, so the Wolf amiibo, you need that specifically to go to the new mini dungeon. Which I've heard isn't exactly all that great, but it exists. But yeah, count on count on me streaming this uh, later later this year. And I don't know if if the Ganondorf emote is actually affordable, maybe I'll buy that and fuck around with it. I don't know. Like I am, I, I do consider myself fairly good at this game, so we'll see how it goes. You don't know why, but you suddenly want to. You want to play Fire Emblem Three Houses, Flammy? I've heard it's a pretty good Fire Emblem game. I don't have it personally. My Switch collection is very, very small because I've only owned it for about six months. So, you know. But yeah. So the last one, which is a, uh, I don't know, I guess fairly unique in, in that regard. I have the uh, special edition of Tokyo Mirage Sessions F Sharp. Um, I guess I could open it up real quick. I have it open. I have opened it up a couple times here, somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Like I know this comes with like some DLC codes I haven't actually used. But for all I know, that's not that's not used anymore. Morrow. Yay, finally good game. Okay, clearly you didn't see my other copy of that game. Hold on. There goes Morrow not paying attention again. Goddamn. Probably busy staring at Leon ass. Or Chris Redfield ass. Or California ass. There. I actually have two copies of this game, Morrow, because I'm a fucking nerd. Like, I, I think I fell in love with this game so much when I first played it, I was like, holy shit, I can... Because this is when uh, Best Buy was still doing the, their, like, Gamers Club Unlocked card, where you got, like, a certain percentage off of new shit, including collector's editions. Um, and so I, I actually I actually bought this at, at, at Best Buy, like, the, the website. Give me a sec, I'll get this out. I want to kind of... It does look cool. Like, it does look cool. Well, I wouldn't doubt if this is worth hundreds of dollars in another, you know, five or so years. Because, uh, you know, the Wii U, it's going to be like, um, it's going to be like a collector's console if it isn't already. Because, it, you know, it sold so so poorly compared to other Nintendo properties. Okay, well, yeah, first and foremost, the uh, sealed game there. Like, you know, you see how shiny and shit is, so sealed game. Oh, that's probably worth a bit of money right now anyways. But I uh, got a... Kind of a cool ass... I think this is an art manual? Art book? Yeah, it's an art book. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Like, I, honestly, I... Oh, I think I had it reversed, yeah. My bad. Like, it's pretty cool. It shows uh, characters, you know... Some of the cinematic scenes, some of the backgrounds, some of the weapons. Some of the personas or whatever they want to call it. Uh, yeah, this is this is actually my first kind of like Shin Megami Tensei Persona game. Uh, because I know after this I played Persona 4 Golden, I haven't beaten it, but I... 
I will at some point, and then at some point I guess I'll play Persona 5, which I have on uh, on my shelf in the other room. So yeah, there's there's that cool little art book thing. There's a uh, I guess this is a CD, a soundtrack, or, or something. If I can actually get the fucking thing out. Oh, okay, it's got a thing in the back here. I'm trying to be careful here, because I've had this in good shape so far, so I don't want to fuck it up. But yeah, this, they made this look like cool as fuck, though. Um, Okay, yeah, these are supposed to be like, like, uh, what do you call them, Rec record cards or whatever? With like different shit on them. Some of them do look pretty sweet. It's really a J-pop-ish, you know? I think I remember that song during one of the cutscenes. I think I remember it being pretty decent. The The only thing that kind of pisses me off about this game is there's no English dubs at all. Like, it's all in Japanese with subtitles, and it's like, seriously? Come on. Okay, yeah, that's with, uh... That's one, that's one of your main characters, too. Yeah, that's one of the main characters there. Tsubasa, who's... Kind of, she's kind of bae. She's kind of bae, not gonna lie. Kind of a fan of her. Oh, I don't wanna... Okay, this is the actual CD itself. Special vocal selection. I guess that has all of these songs on there then. And then, uh... That's, uh... It's one of your characters too, Kyria. So yeah, that's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And there's one more thing here. I think they're like stickers or standees. Let me, let me put this back real quick. I gotta be careful with the CD, because... I mean, it's, it's pretty flawless. Uh, I guess I guess my thing is, like, uh, from a collector standpoint, I want to keep this in here and not have it potentially be scratched in, like, an actual CD player, you know? So you give me a sec. And fortunately, this is really the coolest part of my whole Wii U shit, is just this collection right here, so... Like, I, I don't know... I don't really own any other collection for Wii U that's this interesting. Okay, got that art book there. I'm getting freaking hungry. I need to end this stream now. Uh, okay, probably gonna cover these. Codes for the for the DLC, which who knows if they're even still supported. I personally don't really care that much for the for the for the DLC for this game, but you know it is what it is. I mean, I predict that they would they would port this game at some point, but I don't think they have ported it to the Switch, and I'm I'm kind of wondering why that is. Okay, we have a. Uh... What are these things? I think I think they're vinyl stickers. Like they. Like, they feel like they're, you know, like, of higher quality than, like, the stickers you'd get from, like, a, you know, store-bought. Yeah, cool little stickers, or maybe they're supposed to be, like, um, what do you call them, decals or whatever. Yeah, kind of cute. Yeah, and that's it, basically. So, so pretty sweet little, uh, collection there. Yeah, I, I think I spent, um... I mean, I could probably look at my actual Best Buy account on their site. I want to say I paid maybe 60, $68 for this. I want to say. Because like I said, with 20% off, like... 20% off of, of, off of, um... What the fuck is that? You know, 20% off of, of, of even collector's items, you know, it, it helps, you know. So you'll need to put this bad boy back in, hopefully, without ruining it again. Like, on the actual box, I think there's a slight... Something slightly wrong with it. Get that bad boy in there. There we go. Yeah, this is definitely something I don't plan on getting rid of anytime soon, unless I fall on, unless I fall on hard times, basically. 
But yeah. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Yeah, I think that'll be all for this stream. I kind of surprised I, go on, I went on for as long as I did. Oh, let's go ahead and uh, raid someone. Okay, Drew is Drew's going at it right now. He's playing Donkey Kong Country 2. You know what? Since I didn't stream, uh, since I didn't raid him yesterday, let's do it tonight, guys. Why not? I was about to say, did do that? Let's turn off the damn music here. There we go. Yeah, it's just it's just as well I'm ending the stream right now anyway. I'm I'm getting hungry, so. So turn this freak. There we go. Get that hat off for now. Probably use that hat the next time I'm failing on 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 camera. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, tomorrow more more God of War. Hopefully take down some more Valkyries or some shit. I don't I don't know. We'll we'll see how it works. And uh, as for Sunday, um, I don't really want to play Final Fantasy XIV. That seems to be what everyone else is doing on Sunday, though. It's kind of up in the air. I mean, then again, I could just take Sunday off and actually do adulting things, you know. But at least until tomorrow, thanks for, thanks, uh, for watching. I'll see you guys later.